1981 in Cleveland. Goes down for this offering by Holman. Fouls it back. Kiley's double. But the rest of that man's right arm. He has been ahead of all the hitters that he's faced just about. Is that trouble? The third man in the picture to go eight innings or more with no hitter. Langston was the last. Here's the 1-1 pitch to Felix Jose. Takes it in there. One ball and two strikes. All of his pitches have been working tonight. Fastball, the cutter, the slider, the chain. You go around with it up. Yes, Dave Valley. Here's Walter White. This is outside. Here's the 1-0 pitch. This is inside. Here's the 2-0. Weiss with a ground ball. Reynolds there. And Brian Holman is one out away from a perfect game. Holman one out away. It is 9.53 at night. The pitch swung on and a fly ball belted deep to right. Cut out to the track. Fly away. Took an awfully long time. This game had a great rhythm, and all of a sudden the rhythm came to a stop. In there for a strike. Anderson, option foul, out of play, two and two. And Henderson strikes out. And the ball game is over. Brian Holman with a one-hitter, 6-1 victory. A first pitch fastball to Ken Phelps went over the right field wall, spoiling Holman's chance at owning, at the time, just the 15th perfect game in Major League history. Well, you know, after he hit the home run, you're just kind of in shock, and you're like, because beforehand you're thinking, hey, two outs, I'm going to be in the Hall of Fame. You know, they're going to want my jersey and my hat. They're going to build a... a uh, a locker room there in, in Cooperstown and you're going to be immortalized and then you make the mistake and bam it's over and you're done and I don't really think it really set in until about four o'clock in the morning I couldn't sleep and sat up in my bed and screamed as loud as I could knowing that uh, I'd probably never get that close again. Holman went 16th overall to the Montreal Expos in the 1983 draft out of Wichita North. Seven years later, on April 20th, 1990, he took the mound in Oakland and flirted with history. And instead of joining an elite group of perfect game pitchers, he became part of an even smaller group. A pitcher has lost a perfect game with two outs in the ninth just ten times. If you think about it, I, I probably more remember for not getting it and how, how it happened than I probably would have been for getting one. And so when you get into the game like that, as it progresses, you start uh, feeling better and hitting your spots and your stuff gets better and better. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, you've retired 26 straight hitters in a row. And uh, now that I think about it, you just you smile and you say, that was a, that was a blast to be able to do that.